Now appearing on the streets of San Francisco, wooden shanties. A nonprofit is building and donating them to the homeless. Only on Five Tonight, Joe Vasquez reports city officials are saying thanks, but no thanks. Inside some of San Francisco's tent encampments, wooden shacks have begun to appear. John Smith calls this his box house, says it keeps him warmer than a tent and safer since he can lock it. John says he wants full-time housing, even cycled through a navigation center shelter, but had to leave after 60 days, so it was back to the streets. I'm on rock bottom right now, you know? You got to start somewhere. These houses are being specially built and donated. We need to run some experiments. We need some pilot projects for different alternatives. Moksha Osgood is a woodworker who makes tiny houses for a living. He has partnered with former mayoral candidate Amy Farrah Weiss and her group called St. Francis Homelessness Challenge to build the box houses. I call them transitional sleep and storage shelters. Amy says since the city simply doesn't have enough homes, homeless people end up back on the street. So her group gives out the boxes to keep people safe. But our goal is to not have shanty towns or encampments. The city disagrees with her approach, saying it's unsafe and unhealthy. Homelessness director Jeff Kozitsky says transitional housing like navigation centers are the key. I appreciate uh, people who care about the homeless population and, and want them to be safe and secure and healthy. And I know that uh, folks do things from the goodness of their heart and they should continue to do that, but there's other ways to, to contribute. Sure. Well, what would you do if you were on the street and there were rats trying to come into your tent? at night. This is like a third world country here where rats are trying to get in where people are sleeping. And one of the biggest But a shanty issues, town makes it seem even more third world, doesn't it? Uh, it's better than having the opportunity to be attacked or robbed at any time. St. Francis Homelessness Challenge is now building more shacks. These, they say, are a higher standard, up and beyond the safety code for RVs. Take a look inside here. You can see the living quarters. It's got a window here, shelves on that side, and you can pull this bench out and it becomes a bed. They're hoping a private property owner in the mission will donate some space to let them build what they're calling a transitional village. They plan to build this village with or without the city's support. Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.